In today's video, I'm very excited to unbox, set up, and review the Aquarium Co-op Easy Plant LED. This is a 48 inch light that I've been very excited to try out. I've heard some really good things about this, so we're gonna see what it looks like out of the box, on a tank, and go over some of the key features of this aquarium light. So, let's dive right in. In recent videos, I unboxed the Higer Aquarium Light, and I also unboxed and reviewed the JCMP Aquarium Light. Both are pretty good options in your mid-tier LED range, but what I really like about the Aquarium Co-op is that it's really meant for planted aquariums, and there are some key features to this that really put it over the top. And as always, I will leave an affiliate link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment if you would like a link to this light to buy it for yourself, if after this video you find it suits your needs. But I'm really excited to check this one out. Let's get right into it. So first off on the outside of the box, it has some of the key features of this light listed here. This light is really meant for a planted aquarium as a three-year warranty, which to me always signals that this product is quality if they're gonna have a warranty of that length. It's water resistant, so I believe even if you drop this in your aquarium, it shouldn't affect the light at all. It has an adjustable light intensity, as well as an inline remote, and an extra long power cable. And just with these key features, it makes me really excited to try out this light, and knowing that it came from Aquarium Co-op, and Corey is really thorough with all the products he releases. I've watched a ton of his videos and him just being a hobbyist and kind of using his own experiences to develop this light already makes me think that this is gonna be one of the best LED strip lights on the market. And on this end of the box, we have some of the specs of the light. This specific version is 48 inches long, but if you go to the website, they also have 36 inches, 24 inches, and so on. I'm gonna be putting this on my Discus Aquarium, which is a four foot, 90 gallon planted aquarium. It uses 50 watts, it has the lumens right there, the rating Kelvin, and total LEDs. So especially if you have this light all the way turned up, I think you're gonna be just fine with any type of planted aquarium you have. Even if you have some plants that are a little more advanced to keep and need more high light, I think this will do just fine. All right, now let's get this guy unboxed. Another thing I really like about Aquarium Co-op from my previous orders is that it always seems to ship very quickly. So if you order, you should have it in just a few days. It's where I've gotten a lot of my plants, plant supplies, and anything like that. So of course this LED light makes a lot of sense for me to try out. Okay, here we go. All right. Here it is, comes on a few styrofoam blocks, some protective wrapping that we'll get off here. Here it is out of the protective wrapping. A few quick thoughts right out of the box is that it does seem really durable. It's a little heavier than some of the other LED lights, and I do like that a lot. It's also not too thick. It's a pretty thin profile for such a powerful type of light. And I also like the extensions on the end of the light because it really blends in with the light. Since I'm gonna be putting this on a four foot long tank, I'm probably not gonna need these things extended. And sometimes the brackets on a cheaper light will just look cheap, whereas this looks pretty well made and it could sit really nicely on the edge of a tank but with the brackets firmly pushed in, it's a really clean profile. And then there's a power cord with the inline remote and it's attached to the light. It's not one of those flimsy pieces that comes in and out, so it probably won't have any corrosion issues if water gets around it. It comes with one extra box, which is just an extension of the light, so the power cord to the end line. So if your aquarium isn't right next to an outlet or you have a fish room for any reason your light needs to be uh, pretty far away from an outlet. This extra length of the power cable will definitely go a long way. I don't know why other lights don't do that, but I do think it's probably one of the many things that Aquarium Co-op thought about when designing their own light is just approving upon things that other lights may not have done very well. And then here's the bottom of the light where you can see all the LEDs. There are a lot of them for such a thin profile of the light. So I'm really excited about putting this on the tank and comparing it to some of the other lights that I've had. And of course, don't forget to take off this thin wrapping as well. Okay, so set up this light couldn't be easier. You just simply put the light on the edge of the tank with these extendable brackets to make sure it's exact. And then for the power cord here, you'll just unwrap the cord and then plug it into its power source. And then for the inline adjuster, this couldn't be more simple. You have the mode here. You press it once to have the light turn on you press it again to have it be moonlight mode, and you press it a third time to turn off the light. Then you also have the dimmer here, which can go up to 10 clicks for 100% light intensity, down to about 10%, I believe. And I'm gonna show which of these light settings I like the most in my discus tank. But I'm gonna get an electrical timer plug-in for this light, which will be another like $15, and set that so that I never have to worry about turning this light on or off. So next I'm gonna show some comparable lights, both from the cheaper end and from the more expensive end. The Aquarium Co-op 48 inch light right now, I believe is around $150 on their website. 
the smaller sizes obviously are going to be less expensive but first i wanted to show this in comparison to the fluval aqua sky and the fluval plant 3.0 so this is just a side by side of the fluval aqua sky which is about 130 to 140 dollars so maybe like 10 dollars cheaper than the aquarium co-op light but this definitely does not have the same light intensity or spectrum that the aquarium co-op light has and it's really not intended for planted tanks fluval does have a planted 3.0 light which is really popular but for a four foot version of that, it's gonna be well over $200. So I think that's more of the tier that the aquarium co-op plays in, kind of against that Blue Ball 3.0. And with that price difference, I would definitely lean towards the co-op light. And then on my 180 gallon, I've been testing out this JCMP full spectrum light, which I really like how thin it is, but yeah, it does have those kind of cheap prongs that the aquarium co-op light does not have. It's gonna be more in your 70 to $80 range, but there are things like the warranty not being as long, the spectrum or the light intensity not being as strong and in general may not have the same power as something like the co-op light. And then another four foot light here in the same price range as the JCMP is this Hyger, which I'm actually not too much of a fan of. It's kind of a bulky light and this is unnecessarily complex, I think, for just setting the timer on this thing. Maybe it's just me, but it's just kind of confusing. Whereas the Aquarium Co-op light has a very simple mode and dimmer. So that's just a comparison of some of the four foot lights I have and are testing but everything I've seen about this light so far, I really liked. Now it's just time to put it on the tank and check it out. So this is the discus tank that is currently running a JCMP ultra thin light. And because I'll be adding more plants to this over time and make it a very densely planted tank, the aquarium co-op light is perfect to add to this tank. Okay, here we go. Wow, that is definitely much brighter. Okay, so this mode right when I plugged in the light is definitely much brighter than the other light I was using. I'm going to check out some of the other settings and maybe dim it just a bit. I'm going to gradually go through the clicks. This is 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. One thing I really like about the dimmer is that it slowly dims the lights rather than startling the fish, although my discus are hiding out right now because they're just kind of shy. But I think I'm going to keep it at about 50% on this tank for now and see how things go. Overall, I think it looks much better than the previous light. Okay, so the light is now on the discus tank. I really like the way it looks. I put some food in the tank just so the discus might swim around a little bit more behind me. They were a little spooked with the camera and the light and everything, but what were my general thoughts on this light? Well, overall, I really like it. It's very durable. It seems like it would last a very long time, whereas some lights can be a little more flimsy or fragile. I think that really goes to show why they have a three-year warranty on this because they're backing up their product. I really like some of the features that we walked over earlier. The inline controller is one of the easiest I've seen. I really like the dimmability where you can go up or down, I think 10 total clicks. The mode is super simple. It's just on, moonlight, or off. And the dimming feature goes a little slower than some lights, which doesn't really spook the fish, which is just a nice plus. I do think the power and intensity of this light is really top notch. I actually only have it on about 50% right now, but might dial it up a little bit more, especially as I add a few more plant species to this tank. And I do think this light is pretty fairly priced coming in that 140 to 150 range. But if you go with the smaller versions of this light, it's gonna be much cheaper. If you compare it to something like the Fluval Planted 3.0, it might be double as expensive as this, or at least another 80 to $100 more. And I think you get everything you need for a very nice planted tank with the Aquarium Co-op light. And with some of the lights we compared it to earlier that are more in that lower tier level, I don't think they'll hold up quite as well on fully planted tanks that have some more advanced level plants. Right now I only have Anubias and Java Fern in this tank, but I have plans to add a lot more to this tank, so I definitely wanted a nice planted LED light. And just a little nitpick is it doesn't have a ramp up or ramp down or a timer to set for each day. So you can either manually do it or you can get an electrical timer which I'm going to be doing for this light very soon, and then you won't really have an issue there. This isn't really a negative, but it doesn't come with a fancy app or any technology you have to download. I actually see that as a positive because I don't use a lot of the settings that the, again, the Fluval Aqua Sky comes with, with thunderstorms and things like that. Just not really necessary. And I actually don't love lights that come with that app or some of those gimmicks. I don't ever use them, so I can really set it and forget it for a light like this, and it accomplishes everything I need and it looks great. As mentioned before, I will leave links down in the description and in the comments to this light if you'd like to try it out yourself. 
I hope you found it helpful or enjoying just to watch the unboxing, setup, and review of this light. I'm really excited to have it on my discus tank and be able to add some new plants and fish to this tank very soon. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.